residence hall is a place where you can find like a home away from home, I guess. For a lot of people coming in as freshmen, it's very nerve-wracking moving away from your parents for the first time. So um, I think it's just a place where you can hopefully feel comfortable and, and safe, even being maybe, you know, states away from your parents if you decide to come this far. When you live on campus, you know, you don't have to worry about getting to class through, you know, driving or finding a parking spot or taking the bus. You just can walk right to your class, which makes life a lot easier. Um, and finding people to study with is a lot easier if you live on campus because there's always people around. You're living with all these other new freshmen, so you have that like freedom for the first time, but you're also in a stable environment where you have a support system and you're able to, it's like that perfect middle ground of like being independent but not too independent just yet. RAs are given the opportunity to show our residents these great uh, partnerships that we have throughout the university and it creates a platform that it's, it's a safe space to talk about things and like everybody's going through something. So the way that we have such an open environment where you can talk freely and try to exchange ideas, I think it supports the, the residence community a lot. At UM Housing, we do see a difference in students who live in the residence halls versus those who, you know, either are living at home in the neighborhood or otherwise living off campus. Like studies show that students living in the residence halls do perform better academically, they have better access to campus resources, and they just have that little extra staffing, that little extra just like homey feeling to like help them through this transition. There's a higher retention rate of people that live on campus versus those that don't live on campus. And so um, if you're serious about trying to graduate and you want to have the support that's necessary to get you to that graduation point, uh, living on campus is necessary for that. So when you come to college, you are going to be exposed to diversity. That's a huge benefit and also some of the challenge for students. I think besides just seeing new types of people, whether that's different races, ethnicities, uh, gender identities, uh, you're also just meeting people from different backgrounds than yourself, which is really important. In the residence halls, you're naturally going to be surrounded by those people and exposed to that, which does have a benefit to the student. You're immersed around other people who are having to deal with the same kind of troubles that you are, and you get to see their point of view, and it's a lot easier to get to know a lot of people that way, and that way you have your own kind of community when you start out. We are very intentional with our programming that our resident assistants put on, um, whether that's helping with academics, um, helping with stress, um, just navigate any part of life in college. We want students to, to be able to feel comfortable in, in their space, and that means um, a lot of different things, and it means different things to different people. Um, and one of the main components of that is feeling like regardless of who you are and what identities you may have, that you feel um, comfortable and safe and secure in your living environment. Ultimately, we want people to know that we're, we're a resource for everyone, whether it's the resident living in the building, whether it's parents or families of residents living in one of our halls. We want everyone to know that we really do care about the student experience. If they choose to live with us, they can um, succeed academically.